for CMU. Congratulations to him. Did move back up north into the UP. Yep. But he does travel very often coming to these events, and that just shows his dedication towards this game and his his, uh, his thought process around everything. He just wants to get better, and he mm. knows that by traveling, by competing, by playing people that he doesn't normally play, mm. he is going to get better. Absolutely, too. It's funny. He was at South. He was at the Southfield 105 uh, over the week, and then uh, stayed at CMU, and then drove back down for Crown Fight. And now he's gonna go back up home. So he's he's um he's put in the work, dude. It's it's again, as I said, super fun. Absolutely. And Advo, we all know Advo playing uh, Samus, and uh, he's got a game and watch. Game and watch. Yep. But it looks like he's gonna pull out the Samus. Mm -hmm. Now Paco should have some experience against this character. Yep. We did have Fatty Blob coming to our CMU weeklies on a regular basis. They played very often. Sets were always really good. Yep. And Paco should have should take that knowledge and mm -hmm. apply it here against Advo. Mm -hmm. But also Advo, no slouch either. It was PR last season. I think he was around 14 in that area with the game watching Samus. Pulled off a pretty nuts run I didn't really hear about until I uh, talked to a few of his friends who are still more active in the scene than uh, he is currently. But Coming out to this event, he really wanted to do doubles with Daybreak. So it's good to see that he's also entering singles, trying to uh, find that spark again. It looks like we, uh, the players have agreed to game one on Battlefield. Here we go, Advo versus Paco. Paco on the cloud, and Advo on his Samus. Let's see what they can do to close these games out. It's going to be an exciting one. Down there going through the platform, they're getting Paco this advantage state. Has Advo at the ledge here. This is exactly where Paco wants him to. Ooh, he those loves playing off the ledge, and he's really great at reading uh, players' mm -hmm. options off the ledge. Yeah, and it's it's cool because Cloud plays so well into that, too. Being able to read ledge options, which has these huge hitboxes he can throw out. Okay, he's not having this fair off the ledge here. Really great job by Paco staying patient, but here comes Advo. Nice back air, gets Paco off stage. Let's see if he can get the limit burn. Okay, playing some footsies here on the platforms. One thing I would say about Paco's playstyle, though, that he hasn't quite uh, grown out of, is he likes to expand that limit as um, as soon as possible, whenever he sees an opportunity that fits it. Yeah. Um, right now, though, he is playing patient. He's waiting yeah. for his opportunity. Yeah. Hopefully, he's he's uh, starting to learn that that limit, the, the, just the stat boost itself, is such a uh, a bonus in your in your uh, for your character. Yeah. With grab by Apple, took him off stage, gives Paco stage control, and Paco keeping him off. Advo's got to find a way back to stage here. Paco giving up stage control, though, off the ledge. Yeah, Paco is actually very content to just talk, to, like, sit on these platforms. Yeah, and just like you said, he burned his limit there, so he's going to have to work a little bit harder to get this KO. Looks like the dash deck isn't going to punish the re-grab. We've seen Advo do that twice now, so Paco probably fully aware. That's going to take a charge shot from the other side of the platform. Advo taking the first stock off Paco. He's got to anticipate those charge shots. But 126% on Samus. Samus also being the sixth heaviest character in the game. We could see uh, her living for a little bit longer. Yeah, and Ava's going to rack up a lot of percent here if you can just stay alive. Samus can be a really confusing character to play against with all these options that she has. And he gets a grab, gets an uh, up air, and he's already taken 64% on his last stop. Paco trying to get something done off stage. There's oh. the limit. And that's going to take the first stock off Advo, tying it up. That's a great, uh, that's a great uh, use of it right there, because Cross Slash is such a, a used option for Cloud's arsenal. And he thought the roll in, he's going to try to read me coming in with like a down tilt, because he's done that a few times. Here comes Paco with a great string, up airs after up airs, and an up tilt, and keeping him up in there. Advo gets back on stage, though, and gets a grab. Okay, great, great grab. He's charging up that, um, that charge shot. Yeah, Paco's going to have to look out. It's right there, too, but not quite full. So it's going to be a little hidden here. Paco's got to be aware of that. Playing patient. Ooh, nice dash attack to get him off. The nice patience. I won't want to expend limit here. This, this step boost is so nice. Okay, dodging that one. Advo rolling around. Nice back air by Paco. Oh, oh. spends that limit. So again, he's going to have to find another way to take this sock off of Advo. Uh, he may even want to play a patient and just get that that limit back up, so he'll have the better recovery and the kill option as well. It's really interesting because Paco is, is content to sit in shield because he's um he knows that Samus's grab options aren't that good. Samus doesn't really have a kill throw, and like the combos off of her grab aren't the best. So it, being able to sit in shield and just wait for that power shot or the charge shot to come out yeah, is Paco probably what he's doing. Trying to find some room against Advo to try to get this limit up, but Advo's got him off stage. Tries to go for a trump, it looks like. Not quite successful on that one. Okay, here comes the limit. Oh, tries to go for the neutral B. This is a really close set. 165% on Paco. It's a full rage cloud here. No limit online, but could be dangerous. Oh. 
Hockey Full charge shot online. Here. This could oh, be coming okay. out. Okay. Yeah, tried to go with the down air there. Didn't quite catch Ivo, and he punishes it with the back air. Taking game one off Paco. Real close, real close match. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see where Paco's going to want to go. He's definitely not going to want to go FD. Now, Paco also doesn't have a Mario 2, but this Cloud, easily his most seasoned character. Most likely stick with that. All right. I no, suppose. Are we going back? Yes, back? we are. All right. Looks like uh, we are going back to Battlefield. Game two versus Advo and Paco. Advo up 1-0. Mm -hmm. I don't blame the, the choice to come back. Paco was sharking extremely well off those platforms with his up air. And uh, his curve conversions only can get extended farther with those platforms, too. Yeah. Whereas um, if you can get like an up air train, like right here, um, that's really the only thing you can get off of it. But Cloud just like gains so much more from triplets. Uh, with grab, ooh, and a good punish by Paco. Advo, looking to get back on stage with the Zare. Here comes the limit. Let's see if he's gonna, he's gonna opt do a little bit more damage, try to catch him off the ledge here. Yeah, I think Paco wouldn't really throw it out right now just because like it wouldn't kill at all. Yeah, the big blast zones plus how Samus is heavyweight is gonna be probably a little bit longer, probably around like 90 to 110 if we can see that kill. That is correct. Uh, Adwell running around here, just uh, trying to find some space against this aggression from Paco. Really trying hard to rack up a little bit more damage before he releases that. It definitely, it definitely seems like the bounty hunter is the one on the back foot here. As Cloud the Super Soldier is trying to find his way in. Yeah, still up though, and racking up just little pits, bits of damage here and there. Nice air. Oh, gets the grab. Nice Let's see what happens. With the grab, forward air. air. Okay, roll back on stage. Look out! Oh, he don't roll back against that. That was nice. Paco down one stock against Advo. Great job using that charge shot to cover many of Paco's options, taking a stock off of him. And Paco's on his uh. On his last life here in the set. Looking for a grab. Doesn't quite get him, but gets enough air. Also kind of the same thing with um, how we were saying Advo's grab game isn't too well, so he's content to just sit in shield. Same thing goes for uh, for Advo and Paco's grab. Cloud doesn't really have any links into limit or combos off of his grab, except for maybe trying to find an up throw, up throw uh, into an up air. Other than that, it's pretty uh, lackluster for both these characters. Yeah, and Advo doing a great job of keeping Paco on these platforms and, and really pressuring him hard with all these multi-hit attacks. There's a dash attack though from Paco. Let's see if he can capitalize on this. I really think if he doesn't spend limit here, this is gonna be a really like good situation for him, considering how he how it's gone. Oh, there he goes though. He uses it. This is bad. Ooh, try to go for the dare. Paco getting a little antsy with these attacks here. Try to. Go. Oh no. Back on stage. Better than being yeah, dead. Absolutely. The high recovery was very smart there. Yeah, Paco a little fortunate there too. But Avo smart enough to get some uh, extra damage on here. Only 52% on Paco. He needs to take the suck now. And again, without limit, that charge, if unless he gets like a star KO, that charge will not be done once he gets off that uh, angel platform. Avo doing a great job of playing this game of cat and mouse with Paco. Yeah, and that's one of the things that, uh, that um, Samus does especially well is just the spacing and uh, playing kind of keep away from your opponent. Ooh, I would. I, Ooh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Paco's ready to cross slash all the time. Okay. Yeah, he read the fair there. Gets him with the limit. Seventy-six percent. Paco down, but certainly not out. We all know how Cloud is an explosive character. It can take a stock at a moment's notice. Which is exactly what Paco's trying to do. Absolutely. It just takes one opening. Trading. Yep. Paco off stage. The trade was good for Oh, both of them getting their charge moves up. Oh, he could have gotten a grab or another punish there from the, the side B that Ava was throwing out, but missed that opportunity. Real tense situation here. Oh. Short hop up there, trying to get some pressure on that shield. Yeah, I got to watch these empty hops from Ava into the charge, oh. charge shot. I don't think if that, if that was perfect shield, that, that would have uh, that might have broken shield. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, great Real fade nice. back. Yeah, great fade back by Paco. That certainly would have been devastating. Ooh. Okay, light hit from the fair. Oh, is that it? That's he just it. does it. He just does it. Let's go. Let's go, Paco. Tied up 1-1 in the set here. Advo versus Paco. Great job by both players. Advo thinking about his counter pick now. Let's see where he goes. Um... 
I don't think go back to Triplat. I feel like Paco's feeling hot on Triplats right now. Try to cool him down. Take him to... Like a Lilat, maybe? If he doesn't ban it. I can see Lilat happening yeah. for a I feel like I feel like Ed was a man of his chaos, too. He loves, oh, it. He, he loves his Lilat. So I feel like that could come out. Yeah, and the tilting platforms definitely going to add to the chaos. Yeah, definitely, especially with the Cloud having such a stagnant recovery. Both players thinking real hard here. 1-1 mm -hmm. one, one set here, too. I think this is round two of pools, too, so this is um, pretty deep out here. Talking it over. Looks like they're ready to go. Game three is exactly what we are here for. Great competition between two great players. Three, two, Who will come out on top? Advo go. on the Samus. Paco on his cloud. Here we go. Looks Game like, three. Looks like we're going back to Battlefield once more. Yep. Definitely definitely seem to be liking the background and, and uh, platform layout on this stage. Not very beautiful. Not strength. Yeah, very beautiful. <laughs> not strength from it all set. But we'll see, I guess, if Paco can keep the hot hand. From last game, or Advo can regain control. Oh, nice mix-ups by Paco. Advo having a little bit of trouble reading these here. Oh, gets him off on the, the platform. Paco keeping him in the air, really wearable. Here comes Advo. Great Up connection there. there. Percents are even as, as they can be until that great connection there. Ooh, nice mix-up by Advo, going for the Nair there. Mm -hmm. Nair deceptively strong, too. Oh, absolutely. Great kill power on that move, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Inclu including on the back, so back swing oh, yeah. as well. Very deceptive. Grab by Advo. Fair. Oh, and he gets him with the charge shot. Not going to kill quite yet, but I'm just going to have to expend the limit here. Yep. Oh, oh, great coverage. Yes, nice option by Advo, taking him with that tilt. Patience by both players. Nice swing by Paco. Has Advo off stage. Oh, nice spot dodge for the grab. Got the read. Oh, try to go for a real greed. Yes, yeah, smash. Don't yeah. know if I agree with that. Definitely do for a hard punish. Oh, great oh, job covering yeah. the uh, the ledge there yeah. so we can get back to stage safely. Lots of damage from that charge shot, 43% yeah. on Paco. Yeah, expending those is not really important right now because if he dies, he dies. As long as he does as much damage as possible. Yeah, I, oh my god. Great shield coming in from the charge shot. Paco, full limit online. See if he can capitalize on this opportunity here. Looking for a pivot grab, doesn't quite get it. Advil getting a half charge on that uh, charge shot. Nice, uh, nice uh, up air coming down from Paco. Takes Advil off stage. Oh, he's chasing him hard. Yep. Oh, he wanted it. He wanted a turnaround limit. Yeah, a, co a common option from the the Samus players, and that actually knocked out Paco's limit. So another situation where he's gonna have to work really hard to bring this back. He's got the full charge shot online here, too. We could see that this game end just like that. And there it is. It. You know, great great match by both players. But Absolutely. You have to know that you can't roll away against the charge shot. It covers so many options uh, for the Samus player. And Advo moves on. Congratulations to Advo. A great, great set by both players. All right. I was going to tell you, uh, I took a picture and put it on Twitter already. OK, if you haven't seen it already. It's cute. He's adorable. Adorable. He's beautiful. Wakey, wakey, Maloney. How are you? Say hi to the stream. It's all fun games here. It's all fun in games. At crowd fight. Look how good I put it back, too. Dude, I know. That's one of the best <laughs> jobs I've seen. Got to line it all up. Anyway, we have Zyth coming yeah, up here, too. Zyth. The resident the resident pot stirrer. Yeah. And <laughs> he just likes to make blood boil, I guess. Shows up to NHS for, like, 20 times. Finally, he took fifth with uh, a custom me, caused uh, a little bit of ruckus in the community for See, a day. We had 46 tournaments of our, he only went to seven. Oh, he did? I, I made a video all about, yeah, it was only seven. Oh, interesting. So, wasn't that it was one seventh of the time? Oh, I guess you can ban him one seventh of the time then. <laughs> but he will be here facing off against, our man I want to say okay. West, West MI's Premier Bayo. Maloney, West MI's Premier, Premier Bayo. Can we agree on that? Certainly a choice over him and. All right, Gemini. all right, fair enough. West oh. MI's premier Bayo Ryoku. 